Oh, I'll never forget when I got a viral infection and I took, and I lost my sense of smell. And I ate a handful of blueberries, which I love. And it just tasted like bags of water. Mm. I, was like, no, I was like, oh goodness, like I, I don't, there are worse was things in Was it COVID life. that you lost your it smell was, with? It, it was. was, And I did the smell training, which has also been shown to work because these olfactory neurons, this is amazing, their survival is activity dependent. They require electrical activity driven by sniffing and smelling. It is true that the behavioral tool of taking a lemon and really just like getting it close to that nostril and just really trying to get whatever little whiff of lemon you can and then taking, you know, your coffee and getting that little whiff of coffee, whatever little remnants of smell that you can get in there has been shown to improve the survival and eventually the durability of not just the olfactory neurons, but scent. In other words, the behavioral training works. There are, the alpha lipoic acid thing is debated. The thing about alpha lipoic acid is diabetics and people with blood sugar issues probably shouldn't take it. It can kind of reduce blood sugar a little bit. But when I had that happen, lost my sense of smell, I was like, listen, I don't, I want my smell back. So I took 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid and I was doing the, the scent training. I was like sniffing lemon, sniffing coffee, sniffing Parmesan cheese, sniffing anything that was pungent that I could recognize.